Dolphin is plugged to 11 kilowatt, but I'm only getting 3 kilowatt. What the heck is going on? Am I getting ripped off? I know some of you might be confused about the EV charging speeds, especially if you have a BOD Dolphin or a BOD Auto 3. And we're going to answer all those questions here in our new EV series. Continue watching to find out more. Different EVs have their own supported AC and DC charging speeds. And if you have an EV from China like the BOD Dolphin, BOD Auto 3 or even the Aura Gucat, most of these cars only support a single phase AC charging. And on paper, if you notice, they can support up to a maximum of 7 kilowatts for AC charging. And there are a lot of AC chargers out there. Some support 7 kilowatts, some do 11, some do 22 kilowatts of AC charging. And this right here is an 11 kilowatt AC charger from Park Easy. Naturally, you might think that with an 11 kilowatt AC charger, you should be able to get the maximum 7 kilowatt speed on the BYD Dolphin. But instead, you're only getting like 3.2, 3.5. So what's going on? As we mentioned earlier, the BYD Dolphin, similar to the BYD Auto 3, supports single phase charging on AC up to a maximum of 7 kilowatts. And on this 11 kilowatt charger, if you look at the label, 11 kilowatt chargers support three phase charging, but it only supports 16 amps. And if you do the math, in Malaysia, we're using 240 volts. Multiply that by 16 amps, that means on a single phase, you're only getting about 3.7 kilowatts. So that's the reason why you only get about 3 kilowatts on this Dolphin when applying to this 11 kilowatt charger. So how do you get 7 kilowatts on a BYD Dolphin? Let's try other chargers to find out. And now we're at Sunway Pyramid Preferred Parking and we're going to charge the BOD Dolphin on a 7 kilowatt AC charger. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, charging has started and now we're getting 6.3 kilowatt from this charger. So this is definitely higher than what we got from the 11 kilowatt charger. So why are we getting higher charging speed from this charge point versus the 11 kilowatt which we tried earlier on? The reason being is because this unit supports 32 amps and in Malaysia we use 240 volts and we multiply that, you get 7 kilowatts on a single phase. And lastly, we're going to try charging using a 22 kilowatt AC charge point. And let's see how much we can get on this Dolphin. And as you can see, on this 22 kilowatt charger, we're getting 6.3 kilowatts, which is close to 7 kilowatts. So there you have it. If you want to get the maximum charging, you can use either the 7 kilowatt single phase or the 22 kilowatt triple phase charger. So what have we learned here? If you own an EV with a single phase onboard charger like the BOD Dolphin or the BOD Auto 3 and also the GWM Aura Goodcat, take note that you need to get an AC charge point that supports 32 amps. For example, a single phase 7 kilowatt or a three phase 22 kilowatt. As we've seen earlier on, if you plug it to an 11 kilowatt AC charger, those chargers are equipped with a 16 amp. So therefore, you only get a slower charging rate of about three kilowatts. So to summarize, to get the best AC charging experience for this kind of cars, look for 7 kilowatt single phase or a 3 phase 22 kilowatt and you get the best performance. So that's AC and now let's talk about DC fast charging and this BRD Dolphin premium extended range model can support up to 80 kilowatt of DC fast charging and this is a 180 kilowatt DC fast charger which has two nozzles and each of these nozzles can support up to 90 kilowatts of DC fast charging. So we should be able to hit the maximum supported charging rate for the BYD Dolphin. All right, and we are plugged into the 90 kilowatt charger and at 55% of state of charge, we are getting over 85 kilowatts. 
that's slightly higher than the claimed 80 kilowatt fast charging rate on the brochure. So just a quick uh, DC fast charging top up for the BYD Dolphin Premium Extended Range model and we managed to get from 54 to 80% in just 17 minutes. That's pretty impressive for an entry level EV. And of course, we always advise everyone to fast charge up to 80% because it gets really slow after that. To charge this car from 80 to 100%, it took us an additional 26 minutes. So 26 minutes is a long wait just for that final 20%. So we always advise you to just stop charging 80% and then continue driving until the next charging stop. And of course, this also demonstrates that the DC fast charging rate has something called the charging curve. You can get higher speeds at a lower state of charge. As the battery gets higher percentage, the rate starts to drop and that's not worth it if the DC fast charger you're using is charged based on minutes and not based on kilowatt hour use. And before I forget, choosing the right DC charger is also very important because this BOD Dolphin Premium Extended Range model can only support up to 85 kilowatt as we have experienced just now. So this charger right here, the 180 kilowatt with two nozzles, which means that one nozzle can push up to 90 kilowatts, is just nice for this BYD Dolphin. So don't waste your money spending on a faster 350 kilowatt DC charge charger because your maximum speed is limited by the EV itself. So there you have it, the basic AC and DC fast charging things you need to know about the BYD Dolphin as well as other EVs with single phase onboard chargers. Understand or not? If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinsha.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yo. Hey. Yeah. Why my car charge so fast? Ah? Want to buy coffee? It's okay, no?